All right, let's try this again a little more sober tonight. Oh, the wizards, they are on a downward spiral. Uh, without Anthony Davis, the announcer says. Yeah, have you been paying attention to Thomas Bryant? Looking pretty darn good. The key to the Lakers winning is for LeBron James not to take a single outside shot. And uh, maybe just sit him. This is one silly fucking goofball with all of his antics. Who in the fuck are you pretending to be? I could have sworn earlier this season they listed Winnie and Gabriel as a center, but now he's listed as a forward. Either way, he's not playing tonight, so it's all on Thomas Bryant. All right, this is important for you to pay attention to. All right, let's rewind that play. It's not just the fact that he missed, because we basically expect him to miss from three-point land, and that's really the point. There's a reason he's that wide open. Why are they running a play for a horrible three-point shooter? And why isn't LeBron James the one facilitating, creating for someone else to be taking the three? Which makes way more sense because pretty much the entire rest of the team is a better three-point shooter than him. He's supposed to be great. He's supposed to make his teammates better. And yet everything is about making LeBron's life easier and setting LeBron up for shots. That makes his scoring title disgusting and worthless. And, you know, apply that to his entire fucking career. Uh, look at where LeBron is. And his teammate just tipped him the ball. And LeBron was credited with that rebound. And, of course, the ball hog comes down and takes a really, really dumb shot. And bricks it. God damn, this guy's terrible. It, I have a hard time editing these every night because it's so frustrating that people think this guy is good and don't see that this is all set up for him. Look at his fucking nonchalant ass deciding whether or not he, he's even going to get across half court. It's like, I'm going to sit this one out. I'm going to take a break on the court before I uh, go take a break on the bench. Again, look at LeBron. Not in the picture, not interested in contributing to the offense. Now look where his position is. He's just sitting under there, just floating. I think that's a defensive three seconds, by the way. But that's why he gets his rebounds. His assignment is to just rest down around the paint. And then eventually the fucking ball is going to come to you. Look at Thomas Bryant and his patience and making the right decision there. That's a smarter play than LeBron James makes. The reason that the Lakers were successful on that play is because the ball was not in LeBron James's hands. I don't even understand what I'm seeing on this play. LeBron is in perfect rebounding position and just gets out of the way. He just gets out of the way and lets the other team have two easy points. And I hate that the announcers and fans get excited about shit like this. You're not allowed to play defense on him. You're not allowed to touch him. If you do go near him, he's allowed to throw an elbow and break your face or your sternum, and then he goes to the free throw line. I mean, it's just a free layup. Your, your options as a defender are to get hit and then get in foul trouble. Or just let him have the layup. I mean, that's pretty fucked up. Now, as we head to commercial, listen to the announcers. They talk about, they, they show LeBron. It's nothing but a layup. And they say, and LeBron helps give his team the lead. LeBron is one for three at that point. He's one for three. He does not deserve to be shown in the highlights. And you do not say that he is the reason the team is up. He's one for for fucking three at that point in the game. Now you gotta listen to the announcers lie about LeBron being in position before Kuzma leaves his feet. I mean, it's, I don't know how much contact there was, but there was enough. 
But then they go on to say that LeBron's LeBron, LeBron was in position, in position before Kuzma left his feet. LeBron's not even set yet. Oh my God, you fuck. Just look at LeBron working his ass off on defense. Oh my God, it's incredible what he's doing at this age. And here, he can't let a teammate have that easy rebound, so he fucking knocks it out of his teammate's hands from behind. That better go as a fucking turnover against LeBron James. He tapped it out of Westbrook's hands. What an idiot.